So welcome guys to a new tutorial with Factor Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to make, um, how to install a Windows 8.1, uh, the preview version on a virtual box so you can try it out and test it. Uh, even if you're not sure you want to make it your main um, OS. So first of all, you're going to need uh, the ISO file. You can find that on uh, the Windows website. The link will be down in the description. Uh, you'll have to see if you have the 32-bit or the 64-bit um, version. So I have the 64-bit and I have already downloaded it. Uh, for the people uh, who want to be sure their file is not corrupted, uh, they'll have to copy this code and um, use a program called hash 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 calculate. So you look for your a file so that's uh, I've um, I've saved it on my uh, in my OS files Windows Blue Room and the, the rest then you paste your code here so copy paste uh, no I just calculated sorry I was wrong You'll have to wait a bit uh, because it's yeah it takes some time now after it's finished you'll check these two codes so after the 0x you'll check d8 if they match if these two codes match with the file you downloaded uh, then it means the file is not corrupted and you can uh, install it so what you need else is of course VirtualBox so you can download VirtualBox, uh, search just on Google, but I'll be putting a link there. Then give it a name, uh, Win Windows 8.1 pre, uh, pre And then, now, before um, VirtualBox has recently been updated, so it uh, is able to accept uh, Windows 8.1. Before this, uh, some people had some bugs uh, with it, so you had to fix them. So if you get these bugs, uh, the solution will be just go get and update uh, VirtualBox for the people who already have VirtualBox. Then go next. Um, now, this depends on uh, probably t uh, two, two gigabytes of RAM are plenty enough. If you just want to try and mess up a little bit with it so to see to have a feeling of Windows 8 then make uh, the second option uh, I'm sorry in my case it's Dutch so you have to go with that um, choose VD it's simple uh, dynamic it means it won't take uh, a specific amount of uh, amount of um, space from your hard drive but it will just increase if it needs to so we go next then we choose how much we want we say 25 gigabytes more than enough it will use about 10 gigabytes just for the installation then after that you start your uh, virtual machine you press ok then you allocate where um, you saved your ISO file. So I saved my ISO file in my OS folders. And then here it is, the OS uh, client with apps, 64-bit English. Then you start it. As I said before, um, people who have an old version of VirtualBox will have problems like um, error 0.00045 and uh, the other things. Now for, for the new version you'll just have to install it. Uh, I won't change the time and all because it's not very important, just the keyboard since uh, in uh, Belgium we use uh, Azertin instead of QWERTY. So Belgium, please be here. Okay, I don't know what comma means but I hope it's the right one. You install it After uh, the now, 
you need a product key the product key is right here sadly enough you can't copy paste from your uh, from your main machine to your virtual machine so you have just to type these down so that's mttx3 uh, Okay, NTD X3 RV7ZB T7X7F YQ uh, YYY and then we have 9Y92F and we press next. Now it will check if it's correct. Uh, when you're trying you might be um, press what you're going to do here is press on custom choose your drive press next and you'll now have to wait uh, so it gets everything done Now, after everything is installed, it will ask you to restart now, or you just can wait 8 seconds so it restarts. Uh, now, we mounted our uh, OS last time, so it will ask us if we want to start from uh, the mounted OS or or installation. So, just don't press anything and wait until uh, the Windows uh, home button comes. Now I'll make this full screen so we can test everything out. Um, now uh, that we installed it, we're going to shut it out, uh, shut it down. So close the machine, closing the machine and after it's shut down you're going to press right, um, your right uh, mouse button and uh, uh, properties, go to Opslag and uh, if you go to control IDE and you go to your windows blue you're going to um, you're going to press delete so then when you start your machine again it won't ask you anymore if you want to boot from your image so as you see it directly boots uh, from your installation folder so i hope you did like this tutorial if you would like to see someone else's opinion on the windows 8.1 preview then watch the video on the left if you would like to see some gameplay of uh, City Imposter, watch the video on the right. If you like this tutorial, see you next time.